the energy sector is a very interesting sector and they have connections with other sectors and finally suddenly it all made sense after all what is the problem here no no dates but overall and similar to how caspa has been been implemented and developed over the the years it's done right and it, and it's done when it's done looking towards September in a general way you know if the money printer turns on maybe like the whole market will start waking up and greening up and having some fun if not September then October right what's up crypto crew and welcome back or if this is your first time I'm Captain crypto might actively escape in the matrix scoping out the crypto ocean so if you like your odds get on the boat stay up to date thumbs up and join the hunt crypto life. Caspa team members got on an interview with Sin City Crypto to discuss the latest updates. Shout out Sin City Crypto. We have Dr. Shy joining us. We have Wolfie and of course the man himself, the creator of the Caspa logo you all kind of love, Rue Barbarian gentlemen. Uh, Rory O'Neill, I didn't know him at the time, but he came to the lecture and after the lecture he talked to me and uh, we went to get lunch. He told me he had all these ideas. Um, I didn't really know what this was about, but he seemed like a, a nice uh, and serious fellow. So I joined him and then uh, he started telling me about the industry and what they're doing. And I, he started uh, showing me white papers and uh, listing names and showing me the things he's involved in. And I realized, okay, this is kind of big. And um, mostly what's big about it is this these are players that are from outside crypto. There's a lot of potential to create new adoption here. And like the energy sector is a very interesting sector and they have connections with other sectors. And finally, suddenly it all made sense. After all, what is the problem here? We have tons of energy, of green energy that people want to trade in. And there isn't a real platform for that. The way people do it usually is to find direct connections and do it like peer to peer. And you need a platform because otherwise it's very complicated. You don't, you can't expect any, any person who generates energy to find a client. It makes everything so much less efficient and energy is literally getting wasted because of that. Uh, and the problem is that if you want to create this uh, um, trading platform, you don't want it to be controlled by anyone who could coerce it in any way. So uh, it's it makes a lot of sense not even to have it in any currency of any country, but to attach it to crypto. And it, uh, when I first heard it, I was like, wow, uh, how come this wasn't obvious to me? Starting from the very beginning, uh, we've we've worked our way up the ladder on coin market cap and hash rate and adoption and through all the mining platforms up to ASICs and everything and up the exchanges to, to mid top tier so far. And um, and that's without a push. That's all community driven. So it's very refreshing to have these these, you know, monsters of rock, these huge energy people behind us now uh, contributing and helping to push the ecosystem and um, really, really using their connections and, and their reach to, to to help propel us to our fair uh, and rightful position based on our technology, you know, the, the superior technology. Yeah, I've been super impressed with the, I mean, the guys have talked about the pedigree of, of the people that are involved. And they're not just new out of the gate. I mean, these guys have been working on the possibilities of, of using, you know, some sort of new technology to make energy trading better, to make cross-border payments better, to do all this. They've been working on this for years. Uh, and there's a clip on our YouTube channel. Uh, you got to listen to it. Um, they created rubrics and they studied and they, they were looking for the magic, you know, token and they were so frustrated that they decided, well, we're just going to create our own boutique coin. Like we're going to, we're going to do our own thing. And then finally they're just like, well, let's just use Casper. And because it, it meets all their boxes. So when you do a rubric, you know, you're trying to figure out what, what becomes the perfect scenario for the solution that needs to be solved. And they're just like, let's just use Casper. And apparently they already tried this. And this is the really cool part. They created smart meters and that uh, energy, the energy that uh, people who create energy, like farmers with solar, pa solar panels or whatever, the energy goes through the meter and the meter can uh, read how much energy it was, and it knows the sources of the energy and all sorts of properties you would like to track. The, the meter, it sees how much energy you produced, and it issues coins for you that could be used for energy trading. It's 
incredible stuff. They already had this deployed for testing. They they deployed it all around uh, Dublin and did like uh, simulations of uh, of uh, cross country trading. And uh, this was back in 2016, apparently. And the one issue they kept ran- kept running into was the throughput and the reaction speed also to a lesser extent because it's not something that has to be as fast as buying copy if you know uh, trading energy can't can take a while even if you have a very fast way to pay because there is bureaucracy around it but right. the throughput was a really really huge problem and that's where caspa came in and it's like it's amazing it's a perfect fit they already made everything they need except the currency itself and they had to shelf the entire thing because there wasn't any any coin that was up to the job and they are very keen on proof of work like shy was mentioning they want to create a you know a token an energy token to trade um energy credits and they want it to be censorship resistant which makes perfect sense because these guys are located all over the place they're in china they're in mongolia they're in um the mina you know middle east and north african regions and also uh, a lot of European players. So you have the you have the skills, you have the history, you have the experience, you have the connections, you have the study. So they've done the research, and they've chosen Caspa. So it's not just a whim. They're like, oh, Caspa's cool. We like we like the project. We like the people. No, they've been they've been researching for years before even Caspa was alive. And then when when Caspa came to be, and they've been kind of in the secret space for a year before. Looking at Caspa, they realize it checks all the boxes. So this is an epic. This is like, I mean, Caspa alone is epic, but when you meet it up with uh, real world uh, use, it's incredible. And I love, I love the scenario of br- uh, bridging the startup world, the entrepreneurship world, uh, the real world of solving problems, come up with the great products and applications with blockchain. And that's what KI is helping us do. These guys work first. They work extremely fast. These are people who know how to work and how to to get stuff done. And I think this is like the biggest news here. Uh, nothing uh, mm-hmm. explicit, but just the fact that people of this magnitude are involved should uh, make everyone who, who supports Casper very happy. Why is KII so important to adoption and you know the success of of Casper moving forward. To get a grip of on what we're talking about, this this reminds me this list. If you go uh, to Google and you search uh, DII Desert Energy, you'll see the uh, the the group that these people come from. And um, if you go to advisory board and you scroll through, to me, it's almost unbelievable. It looks like something you would see in a James Bond movie. Like the titles of the people in this board are, it's almost like made up, like fictional, but it's not. It's them. That's the guys right there. Yeah. I mean, look at that, dude. It looks like a James Bond movie. Like who would be at this like gala event that they, that he needs to protect or something. Some of these people are already in KII, CASPA Industrial Initiative, you know? No, no dates. But overall, and similar to how CASPA has been been implemented and developed over the, the years, it's done right and, it, and it's done when it's done. CASPA Industrial Initiative is creating a study using data of all known power projects from the Desert Initiative partner network that are f- fully permitted but stalled due to grid connection issues or other local market issues and will encourage the development of those power projects for mining. So uh, in the desert, there's uh, just things that are like almost done that can create power. And probably some of them are from waste or from solar. I'm not sure. But it's not like they're just looking to like dig oil out of the ground and burn it and pollute the environment to make power. They're, they're, this is like smart guy power, you know. And um, it's an interesting angle for miners. He go, goes on to say since DII has... Uh, uh, reach. He, they have the reach to partner with miners for development of these opportunities that go from Mongolia and China to MENA and also Europe. All of this crypto crew is just a matter of time and adoption. And this is the time where we should be studying, packing our CASPA bags and exude patience or long suffering. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. The Caspa ship 
is currently at the harbor, under 20 cents per cast per coin. Once the bull run will return and go to full ignition, the Casper ship will sail never to return again. Into the boat! Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Grow in grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.